All righty, another Great Lakes Fish Cam highlight reel. Starring Kathy Johnson and Greg Lashbrook and Jack. Jack. <laughs> Halloween time. So where'd you get Jack? I got Jack at a garage sale for 50 cents. Nice. And people might think you just set him down there, but you actually had to do quite a bit of work to get him to work down there. Yeah, I had to design a weight inside and a, and a way to uh, secure it into the bottom. And then once I took it to the water, it split in half and I had to wire it all back together and then put it down. But it's uh, really lasted well. A real pumpkin will only last a couple days down there. He turned himself sideways. Which yeah. sounds like he's sort of giving us some side eye. And, <laughs> but actually all the fish point upstream. Fish right. point up, so I was like, oh, maybe he's just like following the fish's lead. But he isn't as nice that way, so we turned him back. Yeah. So that everybody could watch him. I liked it because he was kind of bobbly a little bit sometimes, so that was kind of cool. Yeah, because he literally sort of bounced himself around. Yeah. Um, but we were worried that he would bust loose with that much movement. Yeah. So he went back down and stabilized him again. Yeah, kind of turned him back a little bit. And set up the GoPro. That was, that's always kind of fun to see it from a different angle, 180 degrees. This is what it looks like. This is more what I see when I'm down there. <laughs> right. The camera is right there in the red. Yeah, it looks a lot different from this side. <laughs> yeah, it does. Um, it's tucked into a piling cluster and looks across at another piling cluster. And you've got rocks built up all around Jack to keep them in place. And actually to the left of it is a, a little mirror that I put down. Just, I, I, think, I think some fish actually would look at the mirror and, and keep an eye on it. And I, I, I think it added to the, whole, to the whole scene. Yeah, and I think that was a viewer suggestion. Well, yeah. Computers, yeah. They suggested that we put a mirror down, and we were like, "All right," but like this, you know, he could theoretically the bass could be sitting there looking in the mirror right now. Yeah. So yeah, it's kind of cool. And we do, we are seeing, still seeing some fish now. We've also had some comments from viewers that once we put Jack down, they never saw a fish again. Um, and they're right the, in the the timing of that, but it's kind of the other way. So they're still there. They're still catching Ooh. fish. <laughs> He, go. he got a goby. Yeah, he got a goby. Um, but they're coming in, but they're just a lot less. Um, and that's just because of the time of year. This time of year, the fish are seasonal. They move like birds move. Um, they don't stay in the same area all winter. Um, in our area, they go to deeper water where it's actually warmer. Oh. <laughs> Did he just pop out of Jack? He just popped out of the left eye of Jack. Yeah. Tried slowing it down, which you just yeah. can't see with the shadow on the screen. So <laughs> that does get fixed. We did re do some resets on our um, settings here. So if anybody else has had trouble with the side of their screen viewing dark through YouTube, um, we I think we've corrected that by the end of this video. You'll see it's been corrected, hopefully permanently. Yes, hopefully. And this is actually dusk. You can kind of tell because it all starts looking kind of a little burnt out, but that's when the walleye oh, comes in. Oh, yeah. Nice walleye. Man, they just look like they're fast and they powerful and deadly. <laughs> all, all of the above. Yeah. <laughs> Who's that? That is Spike. Scared the bejeebers out of me. I did not know you were putting that down, and so I had come in afterwards and turned it on to watch your dive, and I was like, what is that? 
that. Because <laughs> he blends in back there just a little bit. Like you don't see him at first. And then you, when you do, you're like, whoa. Yeah. Well, that's what Halloween and October's all about. Giving a little scare. And that's me signing off. Suckers always come in right after you leave because you mash up the muscles. Yep. Yeah, they do. They do like it. That's cool to see, you know, like goby bass and suckers all together. Yeah, they really kind of all blend together and work together. We got some really bad viz this week and it was like epic. Yeah. So it went from like really bad to like this now you know Jack's like two foot away from the camera so you know it's like it's like barely can see him to he literally disappeared even. It was like zero we call this zero visibility. I mean you literally can see nothing down there. Which is crazy to think that you could go from 15, 20 foot to zero. Yes. Yeah, that north wind, that really causes havoc in the lake and stirs it all up and then we're left with this. It takes a few days, it shakes back out and we go right back to clear again, so, yeah. um, you know. It must be very strange for the fish. Um, so this is at night and we've had some really interesting log perch runs. These are log perch, big runs, like 15 minutes, you know. It's kind of normal in the fall to see them schooling together and kind of running together. So I did one of my columns, I Speak for the Fish. I write a column called I Speak for the Fish at greatlakesnow.org. And I did one called Log Perch Rock and Rolling and Rebounding. Um, and it's rocking and rolling because log perch are also known as stone rollers. And why are they called stone rollers? Because uh, <coughs> they take the tip of their nose and they go up to a rock and they flip it over and then eat all the little uh, bugs and stuff that are underneath them. But uh, it's very interesting to watch them. I've, I've watched one flip 12 times, 12 different rocks right in a row. He just go to the next one, flip it, check everything, eat whatever he saw, and uh, go to the next one, flip it. Quite amazing. <laughs> Quite amazing to watch these do that. Even though they're called log perch and they look like little perch, they're actually a darter. Um, they, these guys are about three to four inches long and that makes them the largest starter that we have in the Great Lakes. And in the background, we have a little catfish who swam into Jack. You stashed some food in there, didn't you? Yeah, I put, uh, put food in there in a, in a net bag and I I thought the gobies would be all over it, but I never even saw a goby go in the mouth. I'm wondering when I take Jack away if he'll still be in there, hmm. like if that's his home now. So we've got some new subscribers. Thanks everybody. We're, we're doing well. We're climbing. We're going in the right direction. We appreciate y'all um, subscribing and appreciate you liking and commenting and everything. We really appreciate it. And um, that's our highlight reel for this week. Cool, cool, cool. Thank you.